August are Dark Machine monsters where all their main deck monsters can bash themselves from the graveyard to gain a card advantage, and their Link monsters just shuffle them back. You can probably see how this deck is so good especially in the grind game, it's like a better version of Phantom Knights but without a broken skill. So let's go through the cards one by one, first off we have our main starter, Scrap the Recycler. This card is absolutely free to obtain which is very nice for this deck. When it is a normal special summon, you can send a machine monster from your deck to your graveyard, and it has a second effect that we will never use. So what this card does is basically, because all of our main deck Orcus monsters have graveyard effects, it allows us to basically kickstart our combo using only a single normal summon. Next up we have Orcus to Nightmare, when uh, it's on the field it has an effect that allows this card to not be destroyed by battle with a Link monster. I always forget that it has that effect, but um, you can banish this card from your graveyard and target a face-up monster on the field. Uh, it locks you to dark monsters and also send a dark machine monster from your deck to the graveyard. So uh, all Orcus monsters have this uh, restriction where uh, you, when you activate their graveyard effects, it locks you into dark monsters. So our entire extra deck is dark monsters. So uh, Symbol Skeleton again has the Banish effect, but uh, it instead special summons uh, Orcus from your graveyard. World of One special summons from uh, your Banished pile, and Brass Bombard special summons from your hand. We also have another uh, Orcus that we didn't use, which is uh, the best one, Orcus Harp Horror. It's special summons from your deck, but it is uh, super rare from another very old main box, so we are not going to use it in this free-to-play version. But if you have it, you should definitely play as many copies as possible. Next up we have Orchestrated Babble. This is our main field spell, also our main search target for our Link monster. You can activate the effects of Orcus monsters from a graveyard and also a Link monsters to control with Orcus in their original names as quick effects. So what this allows you to do is to summon your Xyz monster, Dinguzu, during our opponent's turn, which makes it a disruption. Also we have uh, Orchestrated Return, this is uh, a draw 2 spell, it also allows us to send Orcus monsters from our hand to the graveyard, which can uh, use their graveyard effects. Anyway, we have uh, 4 slots for staples, we're playing 1 compost because it's from the same box, and 3 copies of Cloak and Dagger, this is a really good free to play trap if you haven't heard about it, it allows you to declare a card name, and if your opponent normal special summon stat monster, uh, you can banish that monster and discard. For the extra deck, we have uh, Infinity Doom Dragon. It's a synchro monster that we could theoretically summon, but I never used it. Uh, Dengusu, okay, this is our main boss monster. We will summon it during our turn and also our opponent's turn, because uh, during our turn, if we special summon it, we can attach one of our banished uh, machine monsters to it as a material which gets it back to the graveyard and if we summon this card during our opponent's turn we get to send a card our opponent controls to the graveyard which makes it a disruption and of course you can always use uh, any of the two effects uh, whenever you like you can uh, if you're going second and your opponent has some uh, cards on the field, you can always just uh, send a card they control when you summon it during your turn. But um, yeah, and also it has a protection effect. If a card you control is destroyed by battle or card effect, you can detach one material instead. Next up, we have our main searcher, Galtea. It is a link two, requires only uh, two effect monsters that include a August. A dislinked card cannot be destroyed by battle, and uh, you can target a banished machine monster, shovel it back to the deck, and then you can set a Orcus spell or trap directly from your deck. Most of the time you will be setting your field spell, but if you already have it, you will set your draw spell. Next up is Link to Rebo. It's actually really important for this deck because uh, we are playing 3 copies of Brass of Bombard, which means you can uh, normal summon Brass and then link it off for a Link Karibo, activate the Brass's Graveyard effect, summon another Orcus from your hand, and then now you have 2 monsters for Galtea. Next up is uh, our Link Free, Long Yuzu. This Link card cannot be destroyed by card effects. Uh, you can target 2 of your banished machine monsters, shuffle them back to your deck, and send a linked monster your opponent controls to the graveyard. 
and this card cannot attack the turn it uses this effect. So um, this effect itself is okay, I mean you can summon it during your turn and then uh, use it A to send your opponent's monsters to the graveyard, although it only points to two of your opponent's zones, it is still uh, it is still two. <laughs> but um, it only gets better if you have a Babel on your field because it allows this effect to be a quick effect. So uh, your monster could play around it and summon into the uh, the left zone where it doesn't point to. But um, if they summon two or more monsters, they will be forced to summon in one of Long Goose's zones, which is an advantage that uh, only Duel Links has. Uh, because in the TCG, you can have uh, five monster zones, so you can uh, have you can play around this card pretty easily. But in Duel Links, they're only three, so. As soon as your opponent has two monsters on their main monster zones, you can send one of them to the graveyard, which is really useful. And then we have a uh, Link 4 monster, or Custrian. Uh, this is a uh, Link 4 that cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects if it is linked. And uh, it shovels three banished machine monsters, and um, all uh, opponent monsters that this card points to will be... Uh, negated and their attack and defense will become zero. So uh, instead of sending it to the graveyard, this is a negate. And um, it is occasionally useful for OTKing because you can also make their attack zero. And for our last two links, we are playing a Wee Witch's Apprentice, just a generic link to that is a dark and it's also pretty good in our deck. Since we can't play more than one copy of Galtier in this free to play version, we will play generic dark link to monsters. And also, uh, when this card is uh, destroyed by the fellow card effect, you can always recycle a dark monster from your graveyard. And that's up, we have Pentastack, just a really good link to that is also happens to be dark. And for our skill, we are playing Draw Sense Earth. Uh, it allows us to draw a earth monster if our life points decrease by uh, 1500. And the earth monster that we're playing is exactly our best starter. Scrap Recycler is an earth and the other Orcus monsters are all dark. So we're guaranteed to always draw Scrap Recycler when we need it. So this is the expensive version, we are playing triple copies of Harp Horror because this is the best Orcus, it searches from your deck and also gives you a free monster. And uh, we're playing triple Cosmic because uh, this deck does lose to back row, and we're also playing triple Compuls. And in the extra deck, we will be playing two copies of Galatea because uh, you can summon two of them during a single turn which is pretty useful for some of your combos. And we're playing Nightmare Unicorn because it is a dark. Okay, so let's go through the pros and cons of this deck. One, it is extremely recursive. The graveyard effects of all your monsters and the shuffle effects of your link monsters basically mean that you never run out of resources. Two, both Longusu and Dingusu send cards without targeting, which means it gets around both target protection and destruction protection. And three, the deck has a searchable draw 2 spell. In a 20 card deck, it really helps you draw into your other unsearchable stable traps like compos or your combo pieces. And the cons. This deck loses hard to graveyard interruption or cards that prevent you from banishing cards, and there are a ton of them. IDP, DD Crow, Skullmeister, Lancia, Chaos Hunter, it just goes on. 2. This deck is bad going second. The Scrap Recycler combo is strong, but also only one interruption away from passing turn. And 3. This deck is weak to back row removal, because it heavily relies on the field spell to actually interact during your opponent's turn, so if it gets banished by a cosmic cycle, you can't really do anything about it. Overall, I think this deck is decent. Um, uh, it probably won't be top tier because it doesn't have a uh, broken skill to make the deck good. And also uh, there are a ton of cards that you can play in your deck to counter it. So uh, it's definitely worth playing, but um, it probably won't be top tier. Finally in the video, let's go over some replays. We are going first, which is wonderful for this deck. We love going first. 
And we have Scrap Recycler. Even though we ha don't have access to Harp Horror, a two card combo will get us to our combo. So we have Scrap Recycler plus uh, Orcus Nightmare, that is sufficient. We can send uh, Brass Bomba to summon the Nightmare from our hand, make Galatea. Nightmare send the wand, the wand special something back to Nightmare. The Galatea will shuffle back the Brass Bomba to set our field spell. We'll activate it immediately, and then we will XC summon our Dengusu using our Galatea. We will attach back the wand to itself, and we'll link the two monsters with a uh, Wee Witch. And we'll set Cloak and Pass. Our opponent is also playing Orcus. A lot of people are playing Orcus at this moment because um, it is quite hyped. And as soon as our opponent has a Orcus monster, we will declare Galatea with our Cloak. So if our opponent tries to summon it, we can just banish it. They will go to battle. Um, they attack over our Link monster, but that's fine. We'll uh, revive back our Dengusu, sending our opponent's back row. Uh, our opponent will boost their monster's attack to beat over our monster, no big deal. We'll just uh, draw a card, and we have another Scrap Recycler, so we don't have to even activate our skill. We'll send a simple Skeleton, revive our Xyz again, and we'll send a card, we'll wand, to summon back a All Custom Nightmare, and then we'll link them off to another Galatea, because we returned it back with Wee Witch. And we'll shovel back a Banished Monster, setting the draw to spell, which we'll activate immediately. We'll, we'll pitch the card in our hand to draw two, which is perfect. We can uh, special summon the Orcus Nightmare from our hand, make the link free. And I forget that Orcus Nightmare cannot be destroyed by Battle of a Link Monster. But that's fine, we should still be winning because our opponent only has a single card in their hand. They're, they still have full combo because they drew Scrap Recycler, but they can't make Galtea because of our cloak. So they're going to do make Kotoker in a zone that Longusu points to for some reason, which allows us to send it to the graveyard. And they're going to make Link Karibo. And that's it. We win. We're just going to compulse their Link Karibo and no reason to waste any more time. We'll just go for a lethal. Our secondary play, we are also going first. And this game shows us what we do if we didn't draw Scrap Recycler. But uh, we do draw our draw spell, which is enough. And we did draw our Scrap Recycler from the draws, which is perfect. And since we have uh, extra mill with our Scrap Recycler, we can mill our uh, Symbol Skeleton during the beginning of our combo so that we can end on a better board. So we're just gonna do the same Orcus combo, but since we already have our field spell, we are going to set the spell, the draw spell. It is a hard one per turn, but um, we will be able to activate it during our, our next turn. We're going to symbol get and revive back our Galatea. We can make the link 4, but I go for the link 3 here because I don't know what my opponent is playing. So I think um, going for the link 3 is a bit safer because it sends cards. Our opponent is playing uh, Neos Fusion. He is smart, he's not summoning one in one of uh, the zones that Ningusu points to. He's going to revive back the Neos. And then uh, when he activates Neo Fusion, I bet that he's not playing more than one copy of Neos. And if he doesn't have another copy of Neos and uh, we send it to the graveyard, his Neos Fusion will whiff. But he does have another Neos. But that's fine, we will just revive back the Dengusu, and the Dengusu will take care of that fusion monster. And that's it, it gets around the graveyard effect of Mew's fusion, so it can't be protected. So here we have the expensive version of the deck, we are going second which is quite unfortunate, but um, we probably can still play through. We have two compuls, which is pretty nice. I actually kind of like compuls more than IDP in a lot of situations because um, Compost is just more versatile, it works against almost every single deck. And also you can occasionally bounce back your own monsters, which is useful in some matchups where you are you have a uh, monster on your field which you want to get back to your hand for some reason. Maybe you want to summon it again during your opponent's turn. Anyway, uh, our opponent is playing War Rocks. They're going to activate a second field spell, searching another card. And he's going to summon the big boy. That's fine. We're going to compost that. 
And since he activated uh, into the void, it's going to be sent to the graveyard. Anyway, since we have our field spell, we can uh, use Heart Porous Effect to summon a Nightmare directly from our deck. And even we didn't draw a Scrap Recycler, that's fine. As long as our opponent cannot OTK us, we can still continue playing. We'll uh, Cosmic. Our opponent is playing ITP, but thankfully we banish it before he could activate it. We're gonna do the Orcus combo, Link to do Galatea, set the draw spell, uh, Nightmare send the wand. We're gonna make Dengusu, we're gonna send that uh, Forsha. And I do not know that it has a second effect. That's fine. Uh, we'll just get back to Nightmare. We'll make a, another Galatea. We're gonna symbol skeleton back the first Galatea, and then we're gonna link the two Galateas to a Long Gusu. Long Gusu will take care of our opponent's War Rock, and even though I can't attack this turn, it's still gonna be fine. Uh, he has one set card, which is perfect because we could send that card using Dingusu, which we will do right now. We're gonna revive Dingusu with Symbol Skeleton and send that back crew to the graveyard. And uh, since we have Babel on our field, we can also activate Long Gusu during our opponent's turn, shuffling back to banish cards, even though our opponent doesn't have any monsters. It still allows us to shuffle our banished Orcus. You know, we're gonna Scrap Recycler, do the combo, we're gonna make a Link Throw because we can. You know, make the Wee Witch because we can. Symbol Skeleton, revive back to Long Gusu. And end on a really cool Link board.